I'm gonna go ahead and stop that vehicle right there. He was way behind or way in front of the line to stop at the stop sign. And then he ended up making that turn without a blinker. I'm gonna go ahead and stop him real quick. 241 dispatch, copy a 28 for me. It's gonna be 25. That's not a Pagel. Alright, 241 dispatch, copy a 28 for me. It's gonna be 09 Charlie George Sam 489. Vehicle license plate 09er Charles George Sam 489er. A warrant issued. Approach with caution. 10 dispatch. Show us out uh, 10:36. That vehicle. We're going to be on westbound Greenwich Parkway at La Puerta, just in front of the Los Santos Customs. It's going to be a vehicle occupied uh, one time on a white two-door uh, classic car. Send me additional uh, 32. 10-4. In so the owner does have an outstanding warrant for his arrest. So I'm going to go ahead and call out a backup unit just in case. Let's go south. Backup is arriving at that 2016 FPIU. I want to put my hand on my hip. Alright, where's the officer at? Oh, okay. Why do I have a coffee in my hand? Oh, well. I need to put AI units at Chicago PD. Hello, sir. How's it going today? How are you this at, this morning? Doing wonderful yourself? Doing pretty good. You know why I pulled you over today? Can't say you do offhand. Well, I pulled you over because you were way over the uh, line over there to stop at the red light. And then... You ended up making that signal, or you may end up making that turn without signaling. Still getting used to this whole signaling thing. I understand, I understand. I mean, did you just get your license, or? Ah, so you've never, oh, you never had a license, you just got it. I understand, I understand, I understand. Um, make sure you got your seatbelt, driver safety seatbelt, so that's good. That is good, that is good. You got your license, registration, and proof of insurance on you? Yeah, I gotta do it, man. It's part of the job. Unfortunately, I gotta do that. So, you go ahead and hand those documents to me, please, and thank you. Don't mind that I have a coffee in my hand. It's been a rough morning already. So, Stephen O'Connor. Alright, Mr. O'Connor, sit tight. I'll be right back with you. I'm gonna, I, I really don't want to do this whole patrol with a coffee in my hand. Alright, dude, you need to, like, get off the roadway, bro. You should be covering me instead of just chilling back here. But, you know, stay right there. There you go. That, that, that's, a, that's a good place for you. Alright, I believe this is the guy with the outstanding warrants. Yeah, he's got, a he's got a warrant for petty theft. He's been stopped four times, valid license. Um, he's been cited for no light at night and following too closely. Okay. Let's go ahead and come back out on here. Let's go ahead and pull him out of the vehicle. Hey man, I'm going to need you to hop out the vehicle for me, okay? Alright, go ahead and turn around for him and put your hands behind your back. You are under arrest. At this point in time, we place you under arrest for a warrant that you have out for you, okay? Over here, I'm gonna just get you on the sidewalk so it's a little bit safer for us, okay? Alright, hang tight for me while I go, you know, push my officer out of the way of traffic because he's being a total dumbass. Get out of traffic, bro. Dude, out of traffic. God. There you go. What's the warrant for? It's for uh, petty theft. Is what it said. So, that's what we're going to be taking you in for today. Unfortunately, you are under arrest. But you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you can and say will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, will be appointed to you. Do you understand your Miranda rights today? Yeah, you, yeah, I did say you can remain silent if you want to, but... 
Yeah, unfortunately you are. You do have a warrant out for petty theft, so I'm gonna have to take you in on that, okay? It's not that's not that's not up to me, that's up to the court system. You the courts will put out a warrant for your arrest, we just have to come here and arrest you and take you in. So it has nothing to do with us. Do you have anything on you that's gonna poke me or stick me? Anything legal on you? Yeah, we will find out. Anything in that vehicle as well? Is there anything illegal in your vehicle before we search it? Eh, you don't know? Okay, well, we're going to search you and the vehicle, so, because we got a protocol and all that fun stuff. So, go ahead and turn around for me. I'm going to pat you down. So, he's got a used needle and a burnt meth pipe. I... I need to, like, turn down a uh, setting or something because I feel like every single person we search and every single vehicle we search has some sort of paraphernalia on it. So, I, I feel like I need to put in a new search thing or, you know, put some new items in because I feel like every single time we're always dealing with paraphernalia. Every single time. I believe that's actually under search questions. So go ahead and explain the drug paraphernalia I found. The needle and the meth pipe. What's going on with that? Pretty sure it's your sister's. So your sister's... So you're telling me that the burnt meth pipe and the used needle I found on you are, bo are both for your sister's. Okay. Well, you said we'll find out, so we're going to find out. Come over here. I'm going to put you in the back of this guy's cruiser, okay? I'm going to search your vehicle. So right now, at the this, this point in time, it's going to be with the for the warrant. And you're also going to be charged with paraphernalia, okay? Hop in the back here for me, bud. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Where you going, dude? Okay, so I guess I gotta put him in my vehicle for some unknown reason. Why won't he go in the vehicle? This is this is weird. Get in the car, dude. Okay, so I guess there's a glitch with this pack and we can't put peds in vehicles. Interesting. Hop in, bud. What on earth? There we go. Alright. 241, we got one 10 15 at this time. 10 4. That coffee cup is going to annoy the heck out of me. It definitely is going to annoy the heck out of me. I'm going to search the vehicle now. See if there's anything in, in it that we need to know about. Several garbage bags of cash. Several rounds of ammunition and an AR-15 rifle. Okay, well he kind of is wanted right now. He's not a... F I don't know if just because he has an arrest warrant makes him a felon. So, uh, I don't believe he even had a... No, he does not have a weapons permit on him. So, that could have easily gone south if he ended up pulling out that weapon on us. So, he's got ammunition, an AR-15 rifle, and then... The several garbage bags of cash. Alright, so I'm gonna go see if he'll explain what the uh, cash is and all that. And see if he'll uh, let me know why he had an AR-15 rifle with ammunition in the in the uh, vehicle. I kind of wish you could like open the door and talk to him still without them getting out. That'd be a nice cool feature instead of having to like go inside your vehicle and talk to him. Like what we used to be able to do is just open the door. That'd be kind of nice to have again. But uh, let's see if there is even a question for cash and or um the thing I don't believe there is so where'd all that girl where'd all those bags of money come from got bills to pay just like everyone else I, I mean yeah I understand everyone's got bills to pay but nobody drives around with garbage bags full of money in their vehicle you know that right 
Also noticed you. I also noticed you have this uh, AR-15 in the thing with some ammunition. What were you planning on using that for? Tell me about the weapon. So I just want to let you know right now, you're illegally in possession of that weapon because you don't have a weapons permit and you're transporting it in your, uh, in your. Tr well, I mean, you're transporting it in your trunk, which is you know the safe way to do it. But you don't have a permit or anything to have that firearm in your vehicle or anything like that. You know that, right? Un well, I mean, you're, we already established you were going to prison on your warrant. I just keep finding stuff to add to your charges, man. I wonder if I can, you, since I found the AR-15, am I able to actually do a weapon check on it? I can. Oh, it's a stolen AR-15. Cool, so I, now I know that I can actually do weapons checks on uh, ones we find what stop the ped, which is cool. So, who does the weapon belong to? Trying to protect yourself? I understand, I understand, you know, with the way the times are right now, you gotta protect yourself, but registered owner of that weapon does not come back to you. Who does a crime with their own gun? I mean, that, I mean, yeah, that is true. I mean, I, it's, it, there's, there's been a couple times where I've seen one like that, but, uh, you know, the weapon did come back stolen, so... Someone got shot, and then I picked up his gun. So you mean to tell me that someone shot someone with an AR-15 and just kind of left it there, and you picked it up? That That's what you're going to say. Is someone, that the registered owner of that fire, or someone shot someone with an AR-15, ended up just dropping it in that area, and you picked it up? I find that super hard to believe, sir. Go ahead and turn around. I'm going to put you in the back of the squad car. I'm going to get your paperwork filed up for you and all that fun stuff, okay? So, like I said, at this point in time, place under arrest for your warrant. Alright, dude. No, we're not playing this game, dude. Get in the car. You're under arrest. You're not leaving anything. If you keep doing that, I'm going to charge you with resisting, even though technically it's not, a, it's not his fault. Alright, so you do understand what you're going to jail for today. You got a warrant, you got drug paraphernalia, and you got a un possession of a stolen firearm, okay? Alright, I'm going to get your uh, book paperwork and all that fun stuff. I believe this officer is going to take you to the jail, so... Uh, so yeah, definitely going to be a fun one for sure. Alright, go ahead and hang tight for me. I do need to get the AI PEDs with CPD uniforms. I have them in, I just forgot to throw them in. 241 dispatch can you start a 51 to my 20 all right so Stephen O'Connor arrest records gonna be his first time actually getting arrested I don't think there is a petty theft one if there is that's what we're gonna you know do it with since that's what it is but I don't think there is a petty theft one so it'll just have to be probably a regular state county wide and then he had possession guns and ammunition and be a possession of a firearm that was stolen as well as illegal possession of a firearm because he um, does not have a permit to carry a such a rifle on him and then it'll be drug paraphernalia and that is going to be the caught or the basically all of his charges there so I'm not too sure um, if the two that I did for the firearm were correct, I don't know if they would charge him both with po illegal possession of a stolen firearm and then illegal possession of a firearm since he doesn't have a permit or anything to have that one carried. I'm not sure if they would do both or if they would do, do just the one. Um, so I'm just going to do the both just in case. But uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get them in. 241 dispatch. I don't know why my player's like messing with his chest over there it's kind of weird 241 dispatch can you start me a 97 to my 20 assistance required in Porta. Mm. Oh, dear Lord. I appreciate it buddy thank you very much I don't know what my players do my players being weird You know, you have an important job to get to, but you're the one telling my vehicle. I got an important job to get to, too. I just got a guy off the street that had a leak, that a stolen firearm, okay? So, you know, just leave me alone. Let me do my job, and I'll let you do your job, okay? 
Man, that is weird though. I mean, look at the 2016, like the number, the 7557. And then look at mine, how bigger it is. I don't know if that's how it is in real life or not. But that is, that is a major difference on the numbers. It doesn't look right at all. <laughs> I don't know. 241 dispatch. Show us out code 4108. Be available for calls. And we'll see what else we can get into out here today. 104. And of course, he's going to go super freaking slow. I like how the tow truck just used the Los Santos Customs to turn around and completely cut off both of these cars. He's like, ah, screw it, I don't care. <laughs> 